In this video, we shall see what are non-performing assets. A financial asset is anything that produces a positive economic value. A loan is an asset for the bank as it earns banks profits in the form of interest on the loans. So if a borrower is paying her monthly instalment on time, then everything is going well and the bank's asset is performing well. But if the payment of the instalment is delayed or overdue for a period of 90 days, then we say that the asset is non-performing. According to the rules of RBI, banks are required to classify NPAs further into three categories based on the period for which the asset has remained non-performing. So if an asset is non-performing for 90 days, then it is an NPA. If it remains NPA for up to 12 months, then it is classified as a substandard asset. If it has remained in the substandard category for a period of 12 months, then it is classified as a doubtful asset. And third, loss asset. It is an NPA identified by the bank or the RBI that is no longer expected to be paid through ordinary measures, but the amount has not yet been written off. The total stressed assets of a bank are NPAs plus restructured loans plus written off assets. To enable the borrower to pay the installments, banks restructure their loans to make it more feasible for the borrower. Restructuring includes an extended repayment period, reduced interest rate, converting a part of the loan into equity, providing additional financing, or some combination of these measures. When the lender does not count the money borrower owes to him, then the asset is called return of asset. However, it does not mean that the borrower is pardoned or exempted. The asset is just cleaned off bank's balance sheet and other means of resolution process to recover the loan is undertaken. To overcome the mounting problem of NPAs, RBI decided to take a proactive step. Through the introduction of special mention accounts, RBI asked banks to keep an eye on the accounts before they turn into non-performing assets. It is a tool for early stress discovery of bank loans. It was introduced as a corrective action plan. Accordingly, banks should identify potential stress in the account by creating a new subset category called special mention accounts. According to the stress level, such loans are categorized into three categories. SMA0, that is delay up to 30 days. SMA1, whose delay is up to 31 to 60 days. SMA2, delay up to 61 to 90 days. Please note that the loan still remains standard even in these categories and turn bad only after a delay in payment of more than 90 days.